hello and welcome to another video so we're gonna have a nice little chat today um, I'm making dinner so if the little thing beeps over there I'll go check it but we're having a nice calm chat I did a video for you guys I think it was last week or the week before last and we're talking about Bible study tools uh, my goal here today is to talk about some different kind of books and really just tools to help you um, in your walk as a believer and when I say in your walk I want to I want to say this because this something happened very recently when I say recently baby I mean yesterday okay and there is never a point of time as a believer that you're going to be able to take off your armor and say I'm just resting I don't feel like doing this I don't feel like doing that if that's your mindset I don't know what you're going to do with that, okay? That's not going to be able to be the mindset you're going to have. However, I do know that not all of us come from backgrounds where you realize that there are different tools and just resources that are available to you right now. Um, there are different tools and resources that are just very helpful for you in the journey. Let's take, for instance, 10 years ago. Let's see. What is this? This is 2024. So, yeah, let's take 10 years ago, even 11 years ago. So I got saved like 11 years ago and let's, you know, I like to do things just real. I'm just, I just like to talk. I like to talk to you guys like real, real. Okay. So I got saved. I'll say about 11 years ago, bro. What was 11 years ago? If 11 years ago was 2012 or 2013, one of those two years, then that's the year. Um, I would have thought of myself to be like, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have told nobody no lie and say I love the Lord. I wouldn't have told nobody that. Um, I just kind of like, you know, I heard of him, you know, just heard of him. I've had somebody actually tell me that. Yeah, I heard. I seen his works. I respect his work. I heard of him. That's just kind of oh Jesus, Holy Spirit, help me. I yeah, that was my standpoint. I heard of him. So when I see some of the things that I see today and just how people, some people talk about God, I always try to go back to Tanzania what about when you were the girl who just heard of him you didn't really know him personally it wasn't your desire to serve him you know wholeheartedly with everything that you have what about when you just you know you knew of him and I can tell you the turning points in here this was not my goal for this video at all but have your way Lord I can tell you the turning point was after the adoption I told you guys this before I was in the hotel room I realized that you know the life that I was living was not one that I could continue living I didn't have any money I didn't have a job I didn't even have a place to lay my head you just heard me say a hotel okay in this hotel room the adoption agency put me up in thank you Holy Spirit the adoption agency put me up in and they told me straight up I had six weeks to basically get my life together because they weren't paying for anything after that and I remember remember the night that they took the baby girl away so I placed baby girl up for adoption later than most people so she was like six months old so later than most people most people do it straight after birth however there was a strong wrestling going on within the inside of me as it relates to family situations and all this other kind of stuff so I waited and I will say that it's good that I waited because it's just good that I waited. We're not going to go into all that here. I say all that to say I remember the moment where I just just cried out to, to God. And I did not even know that he cared to listen. I remember getting down my knees. Like I said, they had just taken baby girl away for like the 24-hour stay. I remember falling down on my knees. Because like I said, at this point, the boyfriend that I had at the time had left the hotel room. And I realized, you know, none of these things that I used to do before that to kind of soothe my angst, none of this stuff is going to work for this type of pain. This type of pain. This type of pain. None of those other things that I've been working, you know, and some of you might find yourself in that situation. You know, at some point in time, maybe you got into alcohol and maybe you, you know, maybe some of you started smoking weed. Maybe even some of you started doing things like prostituting and you realize that now there's a this kind of pain that you're experiencing and none of those other things are helping you. So you find yourself like running around trying to find help with this thing and the next thing and the next thing. And can I tell you that as an 18 year old, I was right there and I fell down on the ground that day. I fell down on the ground that day and I was like, Lord, I don't know how to pray. I do not know if you'll even hear me. But if you are, 
who people say that you are. Please help me. I didn't have any fancy prayers, is what I'll say. I did not even have a Bible to pray the scriptures out loud. I didn't have anything except a desire to want to be out of the situation that I was in. And I had tried a lot of things, but I had not tried Jesus. I hadn't. So I come here like with these messages for you guys. And a lot of the time you see me riled up and you see me upset at you. You see me literally speaking a word of correction to you because this is what the Lord has told me to do. But can I tell you that there, there was a Tanzania back there who knows exactly what it's like to be on the side of being disobedient. And I remember where that led me. I remember the life. I remember the lifestyle even that I was in. And I am angered because I never want some of you guys to endure that. Yet I see you doing the very same things that will lead you into those same things. And as I was like sitting and I wasn't really preparing to come talk to you guys, honestly. First because it's hair wash day my hair looking a mess and I'm just... I mean, it's just so, it's exhausting to see people ruin their lives in this manner. I was reminded, though, of a story. I think I did this video for you guys. I was reminded of a story in the Bible when Jesus healed a man. And once he healed him and told him to pick up his bed and walk, one of the things he told him was, go away and sin no more, lest something worse happen to you. And can I tell you that I have finally come to the place in my life that I I couldn't even imagine the like something worse than where I was, so I refused to go back. But some of you guys don't realize, like, some of you guys have just been okay, just living in the worst. Like, the worst is literally, you are the worst right now. The worst is literally the life you're living. And some of you have become okay with it. Some of you guys have known the Lord, walked away completely. And it's it's heartbreaking. It is heartbreaking. So I said all that to say, the little thing's about to beep here in a second. I said all that to say, I realize that resources, sometimes you don't know what resources to get. Sometimes you don't know what books to read. Sometimes you don't know what can actually help you. I'm speaking all from experience here. And I really pray that these tools help you in the way that they help me. Okay. I also want to say this, that if you are a believer, um, we all have a call to intercession. So if you know a person that is struggling in any way, so you see something and you can't change it because we can't change any of it in our own strength. Not you the person or not the person who sees it. None of us can change. It has to be the Holy Spirit that empowers me to be able to help you change anything. Who Jesus. So, we all have a call to intercession. We all have a call to intercede, to pray for others. Can I tell you, even those people that you don't like, even those people that hurt you, you're the best person to pray for them. And am I telling you to go knocking on their door, calling them up on the phone? No, I'm not telling you that. But we all have a call to intercede on the behalf of others. So let me stop this thing and we're gonna get into some of the tools I have for today. So I think where I was going when I was telling you about, you know, getting saved and just the resources and things like that, you know, back then there was a lot more churches who were preaching sound doctrine. Okay. Um, and now things are just so acceptable and just, I mean, from the lens of someone who, who is like a follower of Christ for real, not like, like if the Lord tells me to correct something, it is my deepest desire to correct it by any means necessary. Whatever I have to do to correct it, I want to correct it. Going from that lens to seeing people to say, the Lord will accept me just how I am. It's very wild. And I am blessed to have not been a part of that when I really needed help. And I'm not saying that there's no good churches. That's not what I'm saying. I pray that if you are in search for a church, that you do find a good church home. Um, but I also want to tell you that one of the best tools is to be able to develop a personal relationship with God for yourself. When I woke up this morning, that was something that the Lord put 
Oh, my spirit is so heavy. And that was work out your own salvation with fear and with trembling. So know that all of us have a journey that is really a lone journey. Even if there are other people with you, even if you're married, like I say, even if you're, you know, even if, you, if you're under your parents headship, we all have to work our own salvation with fear and with trembling. So I want to show you guys some, just a few resources. Like I said, I mentioned some of them in those Bible study tools. And first and foremost, for most, the Bible is the best tool to start with, okay? But some people find it very hard to read the Bible. I will tell you that in that video, I want you to go check out that video first, okay? Maybe you need to choose a different kind of Bible. Maybe you need to get a study Bible. Maybe you need to just mix up the type of Bible that you have. Still the Holy Bible, but you know, like like a different version that is easier to understand. Perhaps even getting in groups. I don't think I mentioned that in that video, but getting in groups of people who do read the Bible, but you're not leaning on the groups, okay? you When you get yourself in groups, come on, come with me now. Holy Spirit, I hear you. I hear you. Uh, you know what we... Okay, Lord. I was about to say, I'm going to think about it. See, it happens just like that. So this is something that... I'm going to look at it. I'm going to see how I can set it up. I'll get back to you guys by the end of this week, the beginning of next week. I'm going to set up a little group so we can do like little Bible studies in there. Perhaps some people actually need like a live study, live prayer. I do understand, but I want you to hear me and hear me very well. When you get yourself in these groups, still keep in your mind that it is you who has to work out your salvation. You. You. So we're not leaning on other people as crutches, which is why I can't even believe that this is something that I just said that I, I could possibly do because I don't, you don't lean on me as a crutch. You don't need to lean on anyone as a crutch. The Holy Spirit is your comforter. He's your advocate. He's your teacher. Like he's everything that you need. Why do you need someone else? You don't need anyone else. You just need the Holy Spirit. So like I said, if you get a part of, if you are a part of groups like that, then Keep that in mind as well. So here is, oh Jesus. Now I gotta set this up. Now I gotta stop this video and think about setting this up. Okay, I'm trying to move on here, but I hear, I hear. Okay, so. Hello, hello. So this is gonna be on the same video. I recorded something this morning before I, excuse me, I recorded something this morning before I left and apparently it didn't have any audio. So here I am. Um, and don't think I'm trying to be cool with these glasses on, girl. It is like very bright outside. I mean, extremely bright. And anyway, so we now have a group. You will be able to find the group details down below. The group is not for everyone. The group is not for me to try and convince anyone to follow Jesus Christ, okay? Um, the group is for followers of Christ. It is gonna be like our little virtual community, okay? Um, because the church is literally, would be, should be within all of us. And I do realize, you know, can I chew gum? I can chew gum, okay. No, I can't chew gum. So I'm gonna sit here and gnawing it like a cow. Um, you guys know, just if you've been here for a while, you just know how I am. And I'm just not really, uh, I think a lot of people, you like to lean on other people to do things and that's just not going to be helpful for you. However, I do realize that, you know, iron shop sharpens iron. And sometimes you just need like-minded people to help you out. And I'm all for helping people out. Some of you guys can attest to the fact that you know, I've taken free calls and, you know, did little chats and things like that before with people. That's not what this group is going to be. This group is going to be more of like, we're all doing the work together. I have a challenge already on the group, which will be our first challenge, which I don't know what you think of when you hear challenge, but just know that this group is going to be like something you've probably never been a part of before, but that's okay. I'm not mirroring it after anything else. I'm simply... This, this group will be compiled of the things that I did to literally be set free from some things. And if I'm honest with you, this is the new. So I guess we can, girl, I don't know what kind of video this is. It's all right though. I did this, so back in 2000, let's say 15, 2015, 2016, 
I started doing Snapchat videos. I told you guys before. So before I was here on YouTube, I was on Snapchat. And I would do little relationship videos and things like that because the Lord told me that I needed to um, just come and sit down and talk about my dating experiences and the things that I simply wasn't going to do, okay? And that's what I did. I listened, I did that, and I got a lot of pushback from that. And if you know anything just about being new, you know, when I say a new believer, like you're going from lukewarm to really like nothing, like you don't care what anybody says type of thing, there is a there's just a transition that has to happen okay so i let what other people have to say and all these kind of things stop me from sharing but i never stopped doing and if i'm honest with you the lord was very i want to say harsh but you guys hear the way i talk you think i just talk like that just to talk like that that's how the lord corrected me with some of the foolishness that i was in okay so just know when you join this group like i said this group is not for me trying to convince anyone to follow jesus christ this is for those of you who are actually already convinced and you're actually ready to make the changes so i'm just it's not going to be a babysitting type of group i'm telling you i have been working for the last i don't know feel like it's like seven hours on our first challenge and everything's free you're not gonna have to buy anything if we do do books and stuff like that you know when you get all the information in the group you will have to like buy the books and stuff like that but i'm not selling you anything i don't have anything to lose or gain but i am going to listen to what the lord is telling me to do and if the lord says the way that i deliver the information is the way that will help you i mean who am i and but i'm not i'm, not, I'm gonna be completely honest with you like Girl, I'm not a sugar coater. I'm just not because it just doesn't help anybody out. So the group is open. The group is not open for all. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna set up some questions and things like that that you can answer to be a part of the group. But the group is literally for those who want to change. I am not, I'm gonna be doing all the challenges with you. I'm going to be right there in the middle of it. I'm not like, you know, talking to you from some high up place and like, oh, you do it. Now, I'll be honest with you and saying, well, the reason why I can make the challenge is because stuff that I actually had to do. And because I didn't go back to the things, well, you know, in that sense, maybe not. But I'm going to be doing the things with you. If I say we're fasting, guess what? We're all going to be fasting. If I say we're reading the book, guess what? We're all going to be reading the book. If I say we have a, vo a video call, guess what? We're all going to have a video call. Okay? I have to sit there and you know put together the stuff i'm putting together the stuff in real time so i'm participating in this stuff with you i'm not just like mailing you off something to sell you they don't have anything to sell you but i do really want you to be free i really want you i want you to be free for real okay i want you to be free for real now also i want to say that most of this is geared towards women i'm a woman i'm a woman um i can i have been assigned to help women with the issues that women face so if you're a man and you feel some type of way about that well i can't help you I mean, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. It's going to be geared towards women. And that's kind of is what it is. Um, I am excited though. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm excited. I could not do this here on YouTube first because I hope this the sun doesn't mess this up but um first because it's just not very private here everybody can join type of things i don't like to do lives in that kind of way i really don't have any patience for helping people who don't want who it's not don't want to be helped because everybody want to be helped but who's not ready to do the work themselves okay so some of these things that i'm going to have you do you're gonna you're gonna be in there showing me proof okay i'm not about to sit here and waste my time i will kick you out <laughs> just straight up i will kick you out i'll kick you out and we'll move on to the next person who can actually benefit from this free assistance, okay? But again, I say this is about us growing closer to God, about us drawing closer to Christ, about us really becoming what it was that he had in mind when he created us. That's really a, what this is about. So don't think you're trying to get to know me here, and I'm not really trying to get to know you here. Not like that. I want you to get to know yourself, me to get to know myself. You know what I mean? Like this is very, it's a lone journey, but we're doing it together. Iron is sharpening iron. And like I said, I realized that I can't com keep complaining about the spaces and not be a part of any of the solution. Okay, even though I would like to not because I know how you guys are um but the lord's gonna help us both 
<laughs> the Lord's gonna help us both. So all the information will be down below as much as possible. Download the app. Don't join the group if you don't have time to participate because it's not gonna be one of those bystanding groups. You are going to be kicked out if you don't participate in any of the things. Okay, and we're not gonna talk about any of the information here. So this will be the first and last time you hear of the things that are going on in the group because the group is private. Okay, okay, and yeah, I'll have to see if I'm gonna have some sort of like answer questions or something like that. Because, yeah, we'll as see. always, if you have a question, ask a question and I will see you guys in the next video and I'm looking forward to seeing some of you guys in the group, okay? All right, I'll see you later.